Hey everybody, another comic book review. This time I have a graphic novel review. Uh, this is going to be Blankets from 2003, written and illustrated by Craig Thompson. I uh, basically won uh, several, um, I guess, Harvey and Eisner Awards. Uh, it's more or less a kind of a semi-autobiographical story. I don't want to quite call it... Um, a coming of age story, even though that's kind of a, um, a big, large part of it, but I think there's more to it than that. Basically, we follow the main character, uh, Craig, around. Basically, it's more or less a story of his life uh, as a young person. Um, we start in the beginning, he is, you know, a really young kid, and he's living with his younger brother in his uh, family's house, his mom, his dad, his dad's really hardworking, his family, his mom is really religious, they kind of live in the Midwest, kind of an isolated area, and, um, and, and you know, you, you kind of see sort of the things they deal with as a family, uh, his relationship with his brother, it starts out, uh, like I said, they kind of sleep in the same bedroom. They sleep in the same bed a lot of times. They get in the hijinks and stuff. There's a pretty funny part at one point, I thought, where they kind of start getting into it and they end up peeing on each other and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, it kind of follows them along. And then we find out how he is when he's at his school. You know, he's actually kind of isolated and he's picked on and he's bullied a lot. Um, the teachers there don't understand him. He's kind of a sensitive guy who kind of wants to be an artist, uh, but somebody, some of the teachers tells him at the school that it's, you know, not really something that's going to, uh, you know, that it's cute that you can draw, but you should find something better to do with your life. And, you know, God really doesn't really appreciate it or whatever. And he, he try to, you know, he doesn't really understand this. He kind of thinks, well, why can't I just draw things that, you know, God likes? I could draw nature and stuff like that. And the teacher kind of poo-poos it and whatnot. And uh, and like I said, it kind of shows how his early life is. Uh, we end up jumping a few years later where he's kind of in his late teens. And he uh, is at this uh, kind of this Bible camp, this Christian camp or whatever. And um, he kind of, you know, falls in with a group of other kids. They're not really bad kids. They're maybe slightly rebellious. You know, they kind of sneak out of the uh, functions and, and act, you know, sponsored activities to kind of hang out with each other. And he meets this one particular girl. They become friends. Then they kind of become boyfriend and girlfriend. And what's interesting is, or I guess this is probably my favorite part of the, of the novel, is that he ends up... Um, you know, spending time with her and her family, and you really get to see a little another side of her and whatnot. Uh, the movie kind of jumps back and forth through time, so sometimes we're with Craig as a late teen, sometimes we're with Craig as an early kid, and and like I said, it it basically goes into how he's either to deal or not deal with the various sort of uh, other people in his life being isolated feeling lonely, then kind of growing out of that. Um, like I said, my favorite part of the uh, book was when he actually spent time with his girlfriend's family. And a lot of times when you have these kind of, like I said, sort of coming of age things, you'll have the sensitive guy with the perfect girlfriend and and la di da di da and, and these things get really over overly sentimental or whatever but uh and and the girlfriend or the object of desire becomes this this perfect thing or whatever uh but um but the girlfriend really isn't that uh i think her name was uh reina and you, you like i say you see she's got her whole baggage too you know she's got her family she's got to deal with her parents are getting divorced uh she has to care for her adopted uh brother and sisters who have Asperger's and the brother I think is high functioning but the girl she's a teenager as well but she never quite developed she kind of has the you know uh, mentality and the motor skills of a child I, like I said she's a teenager but she crawls on the floor a lot and 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 stuff like that so it's it's a uh, really interesting oh there's like I said the whole thing with the divorce the parents are separated the dad still comes around he still does stuff he still takes people to school and stuff and he's trying real hard because he really doesn't want to get a divorce but you know you see the mom's side of it 
and where it's like, well, it's, it's just a little bit, you know, he's putting in an effort now, but it's just a, maybe it's just a little bit too late. And um, I found all that a uh, really interesting. Of course, as the novel goes on, we find out, you know, we see how the relationship between Craig and Raina, um, you know, I don't want to give too much away, but there's a conclusion to that relationship and how he deals with it and so on and so forth. And there's a kind of an epilogue that ends on a kind of a bittersweet note. Um, and, and, and that's pretty much pretty much it. Uh, like I said, I really, really enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was. Uh, I think what really saves it as far as the writing is concerned, like I said, a lot of these kind of coming of age stories are just really either, you know, I was so sensitive and it really picked on me and wah, wah, wah. And like I said, the, the protagonist is just so perfect or you're supposed to feel sorry for him or, or whatever. And it turns into a big wish fulfillment thing. But I think Craig Thompson had a real, a really interesting level of self-awareness. You know, you, you see that he knows that he could have been a, uh, a better brother to his younger brother. He, he realizes maybe he should have stood up to you know certain people at certain points in time and and things like that i mean he knows he does things just because you know he was just a kid and when you're a kid when you're a young person you don't always make the best choices or whatever and um and i think that self-awareness was uh really interesting and really refreshing in this type of study the art i really liked as well it's semi-cartoony it's really fluid really loose but it really works uh for this particular story it's all in black and white and uh but i think craig thompson is able to really provoke a real sense of mood and atmosphere i really liked all the stuff he did where the characters uh are out in like i said it's, it's set in the midwest so there are a lot of like winter scenes and things like that um and there's like some kind of interesting i don't know how i want to use it i i guess for lack of a better word kind of dream sequences there's kind of a few surrealistic touches that kind of help push the story along and um i just think it was i just think it was marvelous like i said it's uh it's a really great story it could have gone wrong in so so many ways uh but it didn't uh like i said i understand why it did win the awards as one so i i recommend it it's it's really it's a really thick book it, it's well over 500 pages and when i first started to read it, i thought oh my god but it actually flows really quickly it's a it's a pretty quick read for what it is so um so definitely if you get a chance check it out he's also written a couple of other um a couple of other novels one was goodbye chunky rice which i don't know anything about and another one was one that came out a few years ago called habib which i think has gotten good reviews as well okay so that's it i gotta thank you very much for listening and everybody have a great day